Hey guys, and welcome back. Today, we're gonna do some training. We're gonna start practicing something that's called a focus teal. There are a lot of components to a focus teal. It is considered to be an advanced command, and that's why I am taking the challenge to try to teach both Dante and Peach. Santi, sit. Good, sit. Peachy, come. No, don't do. Sit. Wait, Peach. Santi, come. Peach, wait. Sit. Good. Sit. Speak. Peach, come. <laughs> Sit. Speak. Good girl. Break. See, this is why I like to feed them outside, because Dante does this inside. And for anybody wondering why I ground up all the meat, it just saves on storage space. It's really hard to try to fit 50 pounds of meat in your freezer if you don't like grind it up. I know some people have like separate freezers just for like raw um, food purposes, but it worked um, for us just grinding it to put it in our own freezer. We have plenty of space in there um, when we do this. So yeah, just over there. <laughs> and. I always do feed them far away from each other because even if your dogs don't have issues with being, you know, possessive or resource guarding, you should always be cautious about that. So it's better for them to just eat far away. Like Peach is coming, I'm going to tell her off. Peach, no. <laughs> she knows. <laughs> she knows, you see? Peach can be very like impolite sometimes and lucky for her Dante is very patient but if she were to like approach another dog or if another dog is to approach her she wouldn't like that right and neither would the other dog <gasps> Got some treats for the pups. They are very interested. Well, Dante's very interested. Peach, she's having fun with a stick right now. But yeah, so I did start to introduce a couple of things. So for example, Dante, I started to teach him how to get into the heel position. I'm not gonna call it heel because for them, heel means something different and I want to distinguish um, this command from heel, right? So I'll probably um, call it Fuss, which is heel in German, or I don't know, we'll see. But right now I'm not going to be marking it with a word because I'm not going to... They're going to be learning it in parts, so I don't want to give things names, right? I just want them to exercise the movement, and I'm going to be learning them a lot with treats. <laughs> you paying attention. You paying attention. So what I've taught Dante so far is this. Good boy. 
So it doesn't look like a lot, but it is like the starting point. And basically what it is, is that he's getting into that position. So let me do it from the side so you guys can see it. Come on, Angie. I'm going to put him to sit here. Um, actually, let's put him over here. Come on, Angie. Peach. I'm going to put Peach on place because she's going to distract us. Okay. Wait, then. Peach, please. That's what it looks like and what this is supposed to do is that we're supposed to take off from this um, part so wherever if I were to call Dante and I call him to this command he's supposed to come into that position this way and then we take off right so I'm going to practice that one more time What I actually wanted to teach Dante today was just to get him used to looking up at me when we do the takeoff. So when we start going away, I'm not going to give it a name yet because he doesn't really know what it is, but I just want him to get used to the movement, right? right. Hey Dante. before a focused heel or as many people know it a competition heel is considered to be an advanced command because there are a lot of components that your dog needs to learn so that you can have this nice fluid motion that we're used to seeing when we see dogs compete right now Dante and I are not going to be competing <laughs> at any point in time but I do like to teach my dogs new things just as a way to bond with them and to grow our relationship together I have not taught focused heel before, so this is also very new for me. So it's just, I think, a very good way to do something new with your dog and learn from each other because you guys are going to be putting yourselves in a different situation, right? And it just gives you experience. Yes, good girl. Come here, Peach Oh my gosh, you do handsome voice. Put your hands on voice. Put your hands on voice. Hey. This is good for Peach because she's a very impatient dog. So her sitting there and watching is her training as well. I do intend to teach Peachy Girl to focus heel as well, but for this session, I wanted to spend some more time with Dante and I wanted to help her practice her stability because you guys know Peach. Like, I don't think I have to explain this, but for people who don't know Peach, Peach is like all over the place sometimes. Oh yeah, good job. Okay, so at this point, we're just having fun. We're not doing anything specific. I'm just luring them uh, with the treats and, you know, it, they're getting rewarded just for paying attention to me, basically. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a nice little way to take a break because I think that when you're teaching your dog something, especially something new, and especially if you need it so that your dog can perform it in everyday life. Sometimes as an owner, you can get very frustrated if you're not in the spot that you want to be. So I think that 
something that is super helpful is to take things um, one step at a time to make sure you're having fun and adding breaks in between so that it's not so hard on not only yourself but also your dog because learning something new is mentally tasking even if it's something that may seem like it's super simple your dog perceives the world in a different way so we're just having fun here i'm actually very interested in seeing how pete is going to pick up what i am trying to teach dante now i think that she might get it a little bit quicker but she might be a little bit sloppy about it <laughs> because if she really wants something, Peach is very determined and sometimes she does things without really thinking. So I think that the, I, I honestly think that I'm going to have to be on top of her in a different way when I start training her so that she's not anticipating what I'm asking her to do. It's just, she's a very different dog and I always find that to be super interesting because they're both the same breed, but I just think it comes to show you how unique dogs can be and how you really have to learn how they learn so that you guys can communicate effectively. Here I'm just continuing to lure Dante to keep his head up and something that I am definitely going to work on the next couple of times and something that I talk about at the end of this video as well is how I can improve on a lot of things with myself. So. I can improve my hand positioning. I can improve how quickly I'm dispensing the treats. Another aspect of focus heel is rear awareness. And Dante doesn't really have a lot of it. Here's some footage of me um, trying to do some exercises with him um, with a touch pad to see if I can get him to move his hind legs a little bit more. But that didn't really work out too much because he is very cautious about his surroundings. So he didn't want to put his paws on the touch pad because I think he felt like he wasn't supposed to, right? But that doesn't mean we're not going to keep trying to use the touch pad, but it's just very funny. <laughs> I'm sure Peach wouldn't have a problem putting like her paws on the touch pad. Here, I was trying to get Dante to move back, but he just like laid down. <laughs> He's like not using his back legs at all. <laughs> so I managed to get him to use them a little bit by kind of doing this like turn but again, another aspect and a really important component of focus healing that we're gonna have to work on. Carolyn. Break. You guys done for today? Yeah, you wanna go inside? All right, let's go inside. Come on. So we're back inside now. Um, I thought that was a pretty good session. It was good for Peach to learn that she doesn't need to be the center of attention all the time because I think that you guys have probably already picked up from our vlogs that she has a very different personality in comparison to Dante. She likes the action, she likes to be where the drama is, she likes to be like in the middle of all the activity, like she likes that, you know, she like feeds off of that energy. She likes attention, she likes to be paid attention to. Whereas Dante is more like, hey, if you want, you can pay attention to me. Like, he's more like grateful for any attention that I give him. Whereas Peach is more like entitled to it, you know? It's just different personalities, honestly. Um, and it could also be that, you know, remnants of her being a quarantine dog, right? Because we did get her when she was, when it was, um, COVID had just started. And she has never known really what it's been like um to be truly alone right um maybe on a few occasions she had to be created by herself but not as much as dante and um dante has never really been created and i've explained that before as to why but um he has definitely been alone like like he has definitely known how to be alone he knows how to be alone more than peach Anyway, completely sidetracking. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> so cute. Peach, wait. Nope, back up. Come here. Come, Peach. Good girl. Here. Sit. See, this is what I mean. As soon as I'm like, oh my gosh, not to your so cute. You're so beautiful. She's like, Peach, sit. 
She wants to be in it. Nope, Peach, come. Sit. Sit. So, I thought it was a good session. I was actually, I actually played back the footage because I wanted to see how Dante was looking like um, and what I was looking like um, while we were training. And I definitely noted that I could improve my hand positioning and the way I'm dispensing um, the treats. So for example, my hand position was kind of awkward. And I don't know if it's because like Dante is pretty tall. So if I want to like feed the treats this way, I really have to like bend my elbow so i'm gonna figure out um next time that we do try this like the best positioning for me in terms of my hand but it definitely has to improve because i feel like my range isn't very good and because of that dante isn't really able to put his head back more so i'll improve that for next time um and i think that i can try to go a little bit slower with him my intention with going a little bit quicker is to entice him and get him like really excited about it which isn't necessarily wrong but i do want him to learn well and like associate like him being in the right position properly right so yeah i don't want to rush anything so those are things that i'm definitely going to improve on if any of you guys have taught your dogs um focused heel i am completely open to any suggestions that you guys have um, so just bring them on <laughs> and um, yeah if you guys have any like suggestions I would truly appreciate them but if you guys really like this video um, give it a thumbs up share it and we'll definitely make part two to see how um, he progresses and Peachy Girl as well I do want to teach Peach how to do this um, but today I kind of wanted to focus on Dante if you guys do have more than one dog in your house as an owner I think that sometimes we do have the struggle of knowing how to manage both dogs at the same time especially when your dogs can vary so greatly in personality and have different needs right so for me what works today since you know I had to have peach with me outside is to keep her doing something else so the place cot really came in handy or else Peach would be distracting Dante a lot because um, they both love to train. But yeah, so thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out the courses over at Fenrir. They are amazing courses for any dog owner and I highly recommend them to everybody. So if you guys are interested in seeing those, check them out on the links um, below. And don't forget to share it on merch too. Help support our channel by getting a t-shirt or a sticker or anything like that. We really appreciate all of you guys and we can't wait to see you on our next video. Bye! This is my life. I have dog hair on my leggings constantly and drool. But I wouldn't change it. <laughs> I wouldn't change it. No girl. <laughs>